welcome to the next episode of my Leeds United FIFA 16 career mode. And today Leeds have another home game as they take on Brentford. So you see the Leeds lineup. As I say, a number of changes today. But Leeds will hope that that doesn't infringe on their attempt to win the game. As you see the Brentford lineup. Brentford will get us underway. Already Brentford getting forward and there's a deflected shot which Silvestri has to turn over. Janske will take it, swings it over. Heads go up, comes back out to Irwin. And Sloth goes for the shots, and that's a good save there by Button. Irwin laying the ball back to Sloth. It's a good shot from about 20 yards. But Button equal to the task. It's going to be a throw for Leeds as we approach stoppage time at the end of the first half there's going to be two minutes as Dallas fires a crossover and there's a header and the keeper only parries it now, there's a one last opportunity for Leeds Irwin finds Sloth fires in a low cross oh and it's cleared away and there goes the whistle for half time it's Leeds United nil, Brentford nil. So welcome back as Leeds get us underway in the second half. Leeds will hope to improve in the second half. There's a loose ball now and Dallas gets it out wide to Sloth. It's well tackled though and Sloth has gone down injured there. Although the ref's given the free kick. But Sloth didn't re react in too kindly to that challenge. He's up. And Dallas for now will take the free kick. Floats it in. And there's an acrobatic effort there by Dia Garaga. And almost a wonderful goal there. But just curling away from the post. For a wonderful effort there by Dia Garaga. The highlight of the game so far. Janska takes it. There's a header and it's in. It was Dia Garaga's header. It may have taken a deflection on the way in, but he won't mind that. In fact, yeah, the defender on the line couldn't keep it out. Powerful header by Dia Garaga. And that should go down as his goal. And Leeds United have the breakthrough early on in the second half. And Gia Garaga scores his first goal of the season. So after 51 minutes, Leeds get the noses in front. to get Antonucci free and, Ir and it's back to Irwin and Irwin and Irwin has made it 2-0 Leeds score twice in two minutes great move there Irwin feeding Antonucci and Irwin carried his run on got the ball back and fires it past the keeper and Leeds suddenly two goals in front at the start of the second half and this is much better from Leeds Great interplay there between Irwin and Antonucci. And Irwin gets his first goal of the season as well. So Leeds, 54 minutes now, gone, and Leeds 2-0 up.
Uh, Brentford need to reply as early as they can and they're on the attack. There's a shot, oh and he's hit the bar and Bamba hooks it clear. That was a great effort there. Brentford almost back in it straight away. It's cut out by Sloth and finds Antonucci now. And the ball's played through and Casper Sloth goes for a long range shot and the keeper didn't move but it goes wide. Sloth who caught, scored that wonderful goal at Queen's Park Rangers a couple of weeks ago. Trying his luck from distance again. Comes back out to Swift, gets another crossover and it's headed clear again. Now Jukara with a chance to run away. And he's going all the way and Dukara's speed is taking him through. Goes for the shots. Great break by Dukara then. And now Vibe into the penalty area. Plays it back, chip forward and there's a header and Brentford are back in it. Just what Leeds didn't want to do and they've conceded with a couple of minutes left on the clock. Defence at sixes and sevens, and a simple header there. And Canos has put Brentford back in the game, Leeds now. As we enter, added on time, Leeds will need to see this out. There's going to be three minutes of added on time. And suddenly leads from being comfortable, now having to defend. And here comes Vibe again, and there's a chance, and that's blasted over from O'Connell. And that could nearly have been a costly mistake by Leeds. Leeds all over the place at the moment at the back. Look to come forward. Leeds then, there goes the final whistle, Leeds hold on and managed to get the three points, made hard work of it at the end though, conceding just before the end and letting Brentford back into it but on the whole Leeds much the better side and deserved the three points today, two quick goals at the start of the second half and Leeds come away as two goals to one winners much needed win and the Leeds fans far happier today so it's Leeds United 2 Brentford 1 your final score now a quick look at the table then after that 2-1 victory and Leeds jump up a couple of places back up to 11th now 49 points still 10 points behind Nottingham Forest though in that play in sixth place in that final playoff spot so Another game down though, so nine games left now and ten points still to make up if Leeds are going to get into the playoffs, which is looking increasingly unlikely now, but they will keep going. So unfortunately, Charlie Taylor, uh, the left back, has picked up a, an injury in training and he's now going to be out for about three weeks, so Robinson will come into the side in his place. Hello and welcome to today's game as Leeds United travel to the MK Dons. Leeds will be hoping to get another win under their belt following their 2-1 home victory against Brentford last time out. Leeds back up to 11th now. Still in pursuit of that final playoff place, the MK Dons lineup. MK Dons will be hoping to do a league double over Leeds today as they won at Ellen Road earlier in the season. But Leeds will try to ensure that that doesn't happen. Leeds will be playing there 4-4-2. 
Robinson is in at left back. As Taylor picked up an injury. He'll be out for a couple of weeks. The MK Dons will get us underway. There's a shot, oh, and that hit the post. Quick snapshot from Maynard there. Took it first time and hit the outside of the post. hand side, cuts back inside but when he gets it through to Janske slips it into Antonucci and Antonucci hits it straight at Martin Cook intercepts and looks to get Antonucci away down the right and Antonucci's onto it, has to check back, there's a good ball in though to Cook and that's going to be a free kick just outside the penalty area <clears throat> What can Cottrell do with this? He's going to go for it. Oh, and he's hit the post. And there's a follow-up. And Janske couldn't put the follow-up. Great free kick by Cottrell. Hit the post. He's so unlucky. There's a good ball from Janske. And Antonucci's in. And Antonucci puts it in the back of the net, but he's a judge to be offside. That is very, very marginal. No wood. And there's a good ball for Antonucci, and Antonucci's through again. And he finesses it past the post. Just opened his body up slightly too much then. There's a good cross in and there's a header. Great save again by Silvestri. Really has been a top class goalkeeper for Leeds this season. And there's three minutes of added on time at the end of this first half. And there's going to be a corner to the MK Duns right at the end of this. First half. Leeds will just want to get this clear. And Silvestri gathers. And there goes the whistle for half time. So once again, pretty even half. It's finished. MK Dons nil. Leeds United nil then at half time. So welcome back as Leeds United get us underway for the second half. And Cook looking for Antonucci now. Antonucci. Oh, and Lewington got across to block the shot. And Wooten, the fullback, gets down the right. Gets a good crossover, and Wood got on the end of it, but couldn't quite direct the header on goal. And MK Dons now with Lewington. And Powell's into the area, Lewington again. And Sylvester saves at the near post. Janska down the left. Into Antonucci, beats his man, Antonucci, great save. And the rebound, not taken advantage of. No wood, 
Beats his man. Can he get the shot away? Oh, was he brought down there? And the ref was given a penalty. Wood tried to get his shot away. And that's the harsh decision. Spence played the ball there by the looks of it. That's a harsh decision against the MK Dons defender. But Leeds United now have a penalty. And Wood is going to step up. And scores. Fantastic penalty by Wood. And Leeds United take the lead in the 81st minute. But you have to say that was a harsh decision. And Leeds take the lead with just under 10 minutes of stoppage time to go. But that was a fantastic penalty. Placed high and just inside the angle of post and bar. The keeper was never going to save that. So Chris Wood bags his seventh goal of the season. As we approach added time, of which there's going to be four minutes. And there goes the final whistle. Leeds United have won. A controversial penalty in the end decided the game. But Chris Wood made no mistake from the spot. And Leeds United look like they're showing a bit more form again now. So a quick look at the table after that 1-0 win away at MK Dons. Leeds remain in 11th place. 52 points, still 10 points behind Nottingham Forest who are now in the 6th place, uh, the final playoff spot. So still work to be done. Eight games to go. And Leeds will continue their pursuit of that final playoff spot. This is Villa Braves. And <laughs>